know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. For as long as I can remember, the same bit of advice rings over my head. On repeat, I hear the lament and the sadness in their tone as they encourage me to grasp hold and enjoy every minute of this parenting journey. It's fleeting, they say, and nothing has ever been truer or put more pressure on a mom. Just a few weeks ago, our grandmother passed away after a slow decline in her health. While she was ready to face her eternity, it left a void in our family not known before. As we all gathered in her small home to go through the earthly treasures she left behind, those words of advice sounded in my head once again. Boy, is it ever fleeting. In a flash, my memories took me back to her humble home on Market Street. Dozens of family members packed into a tight space, but no one minded because we were just grateful to be together. And here we all were once again. With every breath visible in front of us, we crouched down onto the bitter cold garage floor to sort through totes and totes full of fabric. I came across a shoebox filled to overflowing with the most delicate and beautiful vintage handkerchiefs. Surely this box held a story. So I tucked this treasure into the van along with the magnitude of grandma's sewing collection that I was ecstatic to inherit. And I told myself that as soon as I could, I would unfold the story behind this box. Weeks later, we sat at the dining room table admiring the intricate designs held within the shoebox and excitedly decided that these gorgeous handkerchiefs deserved far more than a life tucked away inside of a box. As we stormed Pinterest for the perfect idea and not really loving any of them, we committed to framing them as the artwork they are and hanging them in our homes. That afternoon, I picked up the phone and I called mom. I was going to uncover the mystery. I was right, this box held a story for the books. At just five years old and the beginning of World War II, our grandmother went to live with her own grandparents. Her family, because of the depression, was unable to care for all of the children, and so for a time, she was sent to stay with them. It was in that time that our grandma learned important lessons, how to act as a proper young lady and skills that she would carry with her throughout her life. Great-great-grandma Risley and her husband were smart, hard-working Americans, inventors of the Risley Prism, which is still used in ophthalmology offices today. It was this great woman who helped shape our grandmother into who she would become, and the one who gifted her the shoebox full of beauty. So, while we agree that our life here is indeed flying by, 
We will hold on to these little bits and keep our family's legacy alive and well in our homes. A constant reminder to hold tight to the journey and make it seem just a little bit less fleeting. I saw you walk